Hello everyone, it is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can learn everything you need to know about a character from just seeing, like, their room. Whether it's their bedroom, or their office, or even just like a little corner of their house. Um, I came across this idea while I was trying to understand how to write, like, a comic book script. Um, because I watched an Infinity Comics 1 video uh, last night that got me interested in learning more about how comic book scripts are written. And one of the rules of thumb when it comes to writing a comic book script is to show, don't tell. So if you can have as little narration and as little dialogue as possible, but still tell the story, then just don't add the unnecessary narration or dialogue. Just show it on the panel. So I was trying to figure out how exactly would you do something like that for an established comic book character. I recently read the New 52 run of Mr. Terrific, uh, which is an eight-issue run that came out back in 2011. And Mr. Terrific's backstory involves the fact that he's like a prodigy, that um, he graduated high school at like a very early age, and then he got 14 PhDs, that he's the owner of this like billion dollar company, that his wife died, which put him in a state of tragedy. And then from that tragedy, um, he suddenly gets to see like a glimpse of his future. His son from the future comes back in time and tells him like, you must educate the world. And then that inspires him to become a superhero. So I was like, how could I, if I was going to write like an eight page comic on Mr. Terrific, introduce the audience to Mr. Terrific without having any narration, without having any dialogue, just show images that portray him for who he is, but show them in a way that makes sense. Um, and to have all these images be directly connected with each other within like one scene, like within like one location. So I thought about it and I was like, well, a lot of people will have like an office and on the front door of their office, it'll have like their name on it. So I was like the first panel for the comic could be a close-up shot on the name tag for uh, Mr. Terrific's office and it would have his real name on it. So it would say Michael Holt. Uh, so you're immediately introduced to the character's civilian identity through that first panel. Then on the next panel, you'd be inside the office and it would show a wall that just has all of like Mr. Terrific's like accomplishments kind of arranged around the wall. So you'll have, um, well not Mr. Terrific's accomplishments, but Michael Holt's accomplishments. So you'll have stuff like oh, here's like his high school degree, and it'll have like a date on it, like his high school diploma, not high school degree. And then right next to it, you'll have all these PhDs, and their dates are like really close to like the high school date, so that you'll be able to see like, oh, very quickly after he graduated from high school, he then got like all these PhDs in college. Um, and then on that same wall that has like his high school diploma and then all those PhDs, you also will have a section where he has like Olympic medals hanging on his wall. So it's essentially just like either like a big like trophy case or just a wall with like a bunch of stuff hanging that gives you an idea that he's like really smart and that he has all these PhDs and that he is like an Olympian and you don't have to say like in a text bubble or like in a narration box that he is an Olympian. You can just show that in his office and it's like, boom, okay, got it. Like we get it. Um, you could even in that same shot, if you wanted to, have um, like a newspaper or something. Again, a trophy case would probably work best for this, but you could have like a newspaper in the case um, or just hanging on a wall or something. And it's like, Michael Holt, world's youngest billionaire, or something like that. Or like, Michael Holt, one of the richest men alive, or something like that. Just to show that like, 
Okay, he's smart, he's athletic, and he um, is like a billionaire or whatever. You know, we're getting to the root of like all these things about Michael Holt's background. So that's like the second panel, but if you wanted to, you could split that up into multiple panels if you wanted to kind of take a tour around the trophy case and show off like a little bit of it at a time. Depends on how you want to pace it um, and how much detail you want into the art, because the more you try to cram into that one panel, the the harder it would be to get any detail out of any one thing, especially if you want like dates to be reflected on like the diplomas and you want the newspaper headline to actually read something that like the viewer can read. So you might have like close ups. You could have like one big shot of the cabinet or the trophy case or the wall or whatever. And you could have close up shots on like elements that you think are important, whatever. But that's the first wall. Um, and you could even have it where Michael Holt is walking into his own office. So like in the first panel, you could see him like walking up to his door with his nameplate on it. And then he goes inside and then he walks past this wall that has all his like trophies and accomplishments. And you get this idea of like who he is. Then he walks past like this table, right? And the table um, could have like a picture of like his wife and on like a little stand, you could have like a pamphlet, like from her funeral, um, showing that like, oh, she's died. And maybe you could have like a little, like, I don't know what they call these, but it's like a little metal thing that you put incense in. You could show that like he has like incense burning or whatever. It's almost like a little shrine to her because her death is truly like what kind of shaped him and put him on this path. Then, um, as he walks past this desk, um, you could have him uh, also walk past like a vision board. Um, and the vision board could have like a bunch of like plans for like portal technology um, and like little pins. And uh, a lot of times they have like red string that's connected to the pins and stuff. And on the board, um, you have these like schematics and plans for like interdimensional travel stuff. And you have like a big quote in the center of the board uh, that's done in like the same style as Mr. Terrific's like fair play uh, logo or whatever. And it just says in quotes, educate the world. Cause that's like his big goal. And it also reflects the whole like, oh, like this is like what defines me now. Like, this is, like, what I'm trying to do. And it shows his, like, obsession with it by showing it as, like, a vision board. Um, but he walks past the vision board. And then in the next shot, um, like, a portal opens to the ninth dimension. Because that's where Mr. Terrific's, um, like, headquarters is, is in the ninth dimension. So, like, a portal opens to the ninth dimension. He walks through it. And then in the next panel... It's just the Mr. Terrific suit in a case, and he looks at his own reflection in the case. And I feel like through this, like, maybe like two pages worth of, like, panels with, like, no dialogue, no, like, narration or anything, you kind of get, like, an idea of, like, who he is. Like, just from that. And you don't have to, like retell his origin story um like you don't have to go back and do it all over again it's just a way of you showing like his history without having to retell it um and this is something that i feel like you don't have to only do in like comic books i feel like this could be really helpful in like a lot of superhero movies one thing that kind of grinds my gears is a lot of superhero movies focus really heavily on retelling the origin. They're like, you have to know the exact origin behind a character or else you're not going to care for them. Um, but I feel like movies like The Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man Homecoming do a really good job of telling you like everything you need to know about the character without shoving it down your throat. This is just my uh, foray into like trying to do something like that. Um, 
The best example of this uh, in comic books is um, Grant Morrison. He did uh, All-Star Superman. And in All-Star Superman, he um, does a similar thing. He tells, like, the origin of Superman, I think, in either, like, four panels or three panels. That one does have narration, but it's fairly, like, short narration. And it steps you through all the scenes um, that are important to tell Superman's story. Um, But I didn't want to do, essentially, like, quick snapshots of his origin that weren't all in the same setting. I kind of wanted to set it up as if it was, like, the beginning of the character's story. Like, after he gets to his suit, he could suit up and he could go on, like, an adventure or something. Like, it's a way for you to explore who Mr. Terrific is without slowing down the story or without jumping around too much. It's just, like, a natural part of the story where all of the story is told through the art. I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm just trying to get the point across. Um, But let me know how well I did at doing that in the comment section below. Uh, What are you guys' thoughts? I definitely would love to hear them. If you guys liked this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring the notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. Thank you all once again for tuning in. There's your host, your friend, your boy, Jep Like the One Only. Logging out. Peace, guys. Chickity-gah.